Hello, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Laya. Welcome to this Yoga for Nervous System Reset practice. Grab anything that we may need before we start with today's practice to regulate the nervous system and to reset it. We often live fast-paced lives that pull us in all sorts of directions and require us to, even when we don't want to, spend a lot of time in the fight, flight, or freeze mode, right? Just kind of reacting to the things that are thrown at us. You know, stress is a part of life. A certain level of stress is required for us to take action and move in life. And too much stress is extremely damaging to our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. So the yoga poses that I will be offering you today and the exercises are all designed to help you regulate your nervous system, taking you from this fight, flight, freeze mode into a rest, digest, and hopefully play state. It doesn't mean that you're gonna stay there forever. The intention is to just gain tools that you can utilize when you notice that you're getting dysregulated or activated by whatever the heck it is that's activating you because I don't know how you're feeling lately, but the world is kind of wild. Are you ready to move a little bit and to breathe? This is an accessible practice, meaning I'll offer different options. Choose what works for you, leave the rest. I have two blocks and a yoga mat behind me. That's what I will be. But really all you need is a sturdy-ish surface. If you have any props that you like to use, fantastic. Otherwise, it's all good. You don't really need them. to a comfortable seated position and you could sit cross-legged you could also sit with your feet underneath your sitting bones you could lie down you could sit on a chair it's absolutely up to you give yourself a moment to ground into the shape that you choose letting your hands rest on your lap or your knees maybe you rather bring one hand to your abdomen and one hand to your heart but just give yourself a moment to arrive. Perhaps you move your head a little side to side and you wiggle your fingers and your toes. You don't have to find stillness right away. But eventually see if you can slow down the movement, elongate your spine, relax your shoulders. And as you soften your gaze down or let your eyes close, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose or your mouth. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, noticing the expansion in the body. Exhale, let yourself soften a bit and relax. One more, deep breath in. Long, slow breath out. Just letting yourself arrive. Letting your breath return to a natural rhythm. And just honestly checking in with yourself for a moment. How do I feel? How do I arrive into this practice? And yes, I am referring to the space changes in your physical body. Any tightness, discomfort. But also, how do you feel energetically? How are your thoughts? How are you talking to yourself? And no matter what you find, whether you deem it as good or bad or enough or not sufficient, see if you can just give yourself this one moment to fully be as you are without any judgment or any need to change or improve. Just fully recognizing that all the things, all the experiences have brought you right here, right now. Let that be enough. Deep inhalation through the nose. 
long, slow exhalation through the nose or the mouth. Maybe you open the mouth and sigh it out. Ha. Lift your shoulders up toward your ears. Maybe make fists with your hands. Perhaps squeeze through the arms, the shoulders, maybe even the muscles of the face. Tighten, tighten. Exhale to relax it all. Perhaps you do that one more time. Inhale, lifting your shoulders up. Make fist and squeeze, tighten, tighten, tighten. Relax. And just as you are here seated, noticing the weight of your body distributed between the sitting bones and the legs, let yourself feel the ground beneath you, maybe by being still, or maybe you start to very, very gently rock yourself back and forth or side to side but first the movement is so small that it's almost unperceivable and if the breath invites you to let the movement get bigger you let the movement get bigger but it's not necessary maybe you rather start taking a little bit of circles with your upper body around the hip If you're creating circles, after a while, switch directions. One more breath. And then letting the movement get smaller again, and smaller, and smaller, and smaller. And eventually, let it stop. Ground through the sitting bones, feel the length of your spine. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Unite your palms overhead. And on the exhalation, bring your hands together in front of your heart, relaxing your shoulders and your elbows down. Inhale, open your arms out to the sides, lift your chest a little bit, squeeze your shoulder blades gently toward one another. And on the exhalation, take your right arm over the left, give yourself a little bit of a hug. Inhale, open up again. Reach from fingertips to fingertips. Exhale, take the opposite arm over. Give yourself a hug. Inhale, open up. Stretch, reach. Exhale, this time, take your left hand down to a block or the floor. Bend your left elbow. And then first, reach your right arm straight up. Find length from the sitting bone through the fingertips. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, bend your left elbow even more as you maybe lean a little toward that side, opening the right side body, the rib cage, perhaps the shoulder as well. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come back through center, open your arms out to the sides, extend through the fingertips. Exhale, this time lower your right hand down, reach your left arm up, finding length first, breathe in. And as you breathe out, walk your fingertips out or soften your right elbow as you lean over toward the left or toward the right rather. Notice if your sitting bone lifts up, press both evenly as much as you can and open through the side body instead. One more deep breath in and out. Come through center, reach or your arms up, inhale. And on your exhalation, interlace your hands and bring them behind your head. Or you could even rest your hands on top of the head, whatever you rather. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, keep your head forward, but gaze over to the right. Let yourself be there for a couple of breaths. And perhaps at a moment, in a couple of moments, a yawn arises, or you kind of force it to arise simply by opening your mouth big. And then you gaze forward again, inhale. And on your exhalation, gaze over to the left this time. Letting yourself stay here for a few breaths, breathing expansively. And maybe after a while, a yawn arises on its own or you encourage it. Return your gaze to the front, stretch your arms overhead with your hands interlaced or not, it's up to you. Deep breath in. And on your exhalation, release your hands out to the sides and all the way down. You could roll your wrists a couple of times one way and then the other. 
and then bring your hands behind you, lean back and bring your feet in front of you. You could move your legs from side to side like windshield wipers or shake them out, just whatever feels good for you. And then bring yourself toward a hands and knees position, tabletop. If your knees are sensitive, I invite you to grab a blanket or a towel and fold it um, to protect the knees, or you could pinch your mat, double fold it on its own, and then place your knees there. But either way, start to bring your big toes together and your knees wide and send your hips back toward the heels. Now, if you know that child's pose does not feel good in your body for whatever reason, consider simply switching the plane of the pose. So instead of bringing your heels, um, your hips to the heels and then bringing your body forward and down to a block or the floor, you could bring yourself to your back and then hug your knees toward your chest, which is essentially the same shape, just changing the plane, yeah? So choose whatever works for you best now. Again, the intention is to soften and calm the nervous system, to let go of this idea that you have to continuously be producing, creating, doing, in order to stay relevant and enough. Take a really deep breath in through your nose, letting it expand into the entire body. Open your mouth and slowly let go. Softening your body more and more and more, even if it's just 1% each breath. Inhale to notice the expansion, especially into the back body, if you're in child's pose. Exhale to soften. One more deep breath in. And out. On your next inhalation, start to press yourself up. Coming back to a tabletop position, aligning your knees directly underneath your hips and your hands underneath your shoulders. You can spread your fingers wide and grip your fingertips on the earth. Or to keep your wrists a little more protected, you could make fists with your hands here. Yeah. Wherever you choose to go, just take a moment to notice and feel your core. Maybe you let yourself sway a little side to side as you find stability in the shape. Or you can start by inhaling and lifting your tailbone, let your belly dip, open through the chest, lift your gaze a bit. And on the exhalation, press through the palms, the shins, and round your back as you gaze down. Inhale, open up and lift through the front body. And on your exhalation round. Relax your head. One more, inhale. And exhale. Bring your spine to neutral. Now tuck your toes under, pressing the toes to the floor instead of the toenails to the floor and start to shift your weight back toward the heels again. There might be a point where enough sensation arises through the soles of the feet or even the thighs or the knees where you're like, this is where I stay. You could also continue by walking your hands to your thighs and lifting your chest, but this can arise a decent amount of discomfort. So again, consider what is activating you right now? What do you have space for? And while, while we're here, I invite you, or wherever you are actually, I invite you to practice the four, seven, eight breath. So we'll inhale for four, hold for seven, out for eight. And we'll do just one more wherever you are, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. If your hands are on your thighs, bring them back down to the floor, lift your toes off the floor and tap them. Or if you rather, you could create circles with your ankles one way first and then the other, noticing the sensation, breathe in and breathe out. Now you can stay in tabletop or choose one of the next two options. If you want to keep your knees on the ground, simply walk your hands forward enough that eventually your forehead lands maybe on a block, maybe on the ground. 
Or you could do the same with your chest. You could take your chest down to a block or down to the ground. If you want to also get your legs activated, instead of that, press through your palms, tuck your toes, and then send your hips up and back as your knees lift off the floor. And wherever you are, you can find stillness. But especially if you chose downward facing dog, this inverted V position, maybe there's a little bit of space for you to pedal out your legs, bending one knee and extending through the opposite heel. Or if you rather, you could bend both knees as you inhale. And as you exhale, you send your hips to one side. And then as you inhale, you keep your knees bent and come back through center. And as you exhale, your hips go over to the other side. Inhale back through center. Exhale, finding stillness. Now, if your knees are on the ground and you're in puppy pose, lift yourself back up to tabletop. If you're in downward dog, stay where you are. And on your inhalation, start to gaze toward the top of the mat and take a few steps until your feet meet your hands. You can bring your hands to the ground. You could also bring your hands to your blocks or to your shins or your thighs. Inhale to lift your chest halfway. And on your exhalation, bend your knees sufficiently Perhaps you even separate your feet a bit to let your entire torso rest toward the thighs. Allow your head to hang heavy. And you could stay here maybe in stillness or once again, let yourself sway a bit side to side or back and forth. You could also cross your arms and grab opposite ears with your fingers and then kind of massage your ears. Breathe. One more breath wherever you are. Inhale. And exhale. Release your arms. If you grabbed opposite ears, press down through your feet. And on your inhalation, slowly start to rise. There's no rush. Take your arms out and up. Move as if you were moving through honey. Grab opposite elbows with your hands. And then as you exhale, move your hips toward the left and your arms toward the right. On your inhalation, come back through center. And on the exhalation, take it to the other side. Inhale, come back through center. Reach your arms up. Maybe create a little bit of a back bend opening up through the front body. And as you exhale, draw your palms through the midline. And as you fold, let your head relax down as your knees bend. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. And on your exhalation, start to bend your knees, lifting your heels off the floor until you bring yourself to a seated position. However you get there is really up to you. Giving yourself a moment to sit. Maybe you move your legs from side to side. And I invite you now to draw one leg in and then bring the other foot somewhere where you can actually grab your foot. So for some people, it may help to use one of your blocks and maybe put your foot on top so that you don't have to do as much effort. Yeah. Other people may want to just grab it. But the idea here is that you massage your foot for a bit. And if you've never done that before, that's okay. If you had a little bit of oil, like whether that's olive oil or sesame or whatever oil you like, that would be even better. But just let yourself massage your foot for a bit. You could also do this by massaging your hand instead. Yeah. A couple more breaths. And then slowly, maybe wiggling the toes, moving your ankle a couple of times one way and then the other. And then we'll, of course, do the other side. So bring the leg that you already did in for balance and then draw your opposite foot in. For me, it's the left. I don't know what side you're doing first. So again, maybe you keep your foot on the floor and you massage it from there. Maybe you lift it up and you also involve a little bit of ankle movement. Or if you want some support, you could use one of your blocks to put your foot on top to bring it up to you, yeah? But just notice the sensation of massaging your foot or your hand if that's what you chose. Let yourself breathe. 
one more inhale and as you exhale slowly stopping the movement and the massage bring your hands to the floor behind you move your knees in front of you a little side to side and then start to bring yourself to lie down on your back taking a moment to make yourself comfy enough and let your arms open out to the sides maybe in cactus or you could open them up like a T if you have the space and that feels good for you and you can keep your feet on the ground as close to your sitting bones as feels good breathe in and as you breathe out lift your hips a little move them to the right and then allow your knees to go over toward the left you could let them float you could bring a block on the outside of the left knee you could also shift enough that eventually one or both of your knees are stacked and you find the ground but it's not necessary your left hand can rest on top of your right thigh breathe in to lengthen and as you breathe out maybe your gaze goes a little bit to the right breathe deeply into your right lung One more breath. And on your next inhalation, slowly come back through center, realign your hips, realign your spine for a moment. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, lift your hips a bit, shift them to the left, and then allow your knees to go over to the right, creating whatever twist serves you on this side. It may be different than on the other side. So let yourself ground into your left shoulder. Maybe your gaze goes over to the left. And take a few breaths in this twist here, breathing deeply into the left lung. One more breath. And on your next inhalation, slowly bring yourself back through center. Now, if there is a wall near you, I invite you to come near a wall and bring one hip to the wall and then slowly climb your legs up, coming to legs up the wall. Or if you don't have a wall, simply where you are lying on your back on your inhalation, extend your legs up and you could bring your hands behind the legs for a little support. You could also bring your arms next to your body. If you have a block, you could also lift your hips and place the block right underneath your hips, elevating you a bit more into Viparita Karani, a great shape to release stress and to regulate your nervous system, to invite this rest, digest and play state. Where can you soften a bit without much effort? Letting any judgment that arises transform into curiosity. How can I care for myself better? Right here, right now. How can I love myself more? Just as I am. Feel free to remain in this posture, especially if your legs are on an actual wall. I would invite you to stay there for the next few breaths. If instead your legs are floating up in the air, at any point, feel free to bring them down. If there's a block underneath you, move it out of the way. And then start to bring yourself either to Shavasana, extending your legs all the way down, taking up a little more space than you think you deserve. Or perhaps you'd rather bring the soles of your feet toward one another and drawing your knees open. And you can use blocks on the outsides of the knees. But again, you can choose whatever works for you best. You could also sit up if you'd rather. And we'll just be here for a few breaths. So just give yourself the full permission to only for a few more moments let your nervous system feel what it's like to be present 
calm, without the need to do. If you have extra time today, I invite you to remain in stillness for maybe three to five more minutes. The invitation is to let this practice really reach every fiber of your being. It takes time to unlearn. It takes effort sometimes to rest. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Side out. <sighs> Begin to move your body in any gentle way that feels good for you. Wiggling fingers and toes. Maybe you let yourself stretch out and yawn, breathe in. Uh, and eventually rolling to one side if you're lying down. Start to bring yourself back to a seat. You can sit however works for you. But I invite you to maybe elevate your hips with a cushion or a block, letting your spine grow a little bit taller. Rest your hands on your lap or your knees, soften your gaze or close your eyes. And just observe how you feel in your body, what's going on in your mind, the way in which energy is flowing through you. And we'll end with a few rounds again of four, seven, eight breath. So you'll inhale for four, hold for seven and exhale for eight. My pace is just a suggestion. Please follow your own. So first just take a deep breath in and out, in through the nose, and out through the nose or the mouth. And when you're ready, begin inhaling two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four. Hold. Out for eight. In for four. Hold for seven. Out for eight. Stay with it a couple more rounds. One more round, in for four, hold for seven, and out for eight. Return to your natural rhythm of breath. Allow yourself to recognize any calmness, any gentleness that has risen from this practice, from your choice to even with the demands of your life. Take time to yourself to reset your nervous system, to realign yourself with your joy, 
your presence, your aliveness, beyond societal expectations of what you should and shouldn't do. Breathe in deeply. Fill up front to back, side to side, top to bottom. And once you feel complete, side out. And open your eyes. Thank you so much. I hope that you have enjoyed this yoga for a nervous system reset, that you feel a little bit more in the rest, digest, and hopefully play state. And that when you find that you're engaging back into the fight flight, which is part of life, you recognize that you can pause and utilize maybe one of the techniques that I've shared with you today, or one of the yoga poses to regulate your nervous system once again. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this Yoga for Nervous System Reset and Regulation. And I will see you all again next week. Until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.